FreeEntryMusic.com Layout Track. Today in this video, we are going to discuss a chapter from the EVS textbook of CBSC Grade 3, Learning About Leaves. You might have seen lots of plants around you, right? Have you ever looked carefully at the leaves of the plants? They look different in shape, size, color and texture, right? We will look carefully into the details of the same. What are we going to learn in this chapter? We are going to learn the importance of leaves for plants. Why plants need leaves? What are the uses? And how are they going to help the plants? And we will also learn the different types of leaves. The leaves vary in different shape, size and texture. And also we will learn the uses of leaves in our day to day life. We use the leaves in our day to day life for various purposes. We will check about that as well. Okay, at the end of this session, I have listed some of the examples of the leaves and its uses and also I have listed some of the spellings which you need to focus on. Okay, let us look at the importance of leaves for plants. How are the leaves going to help the plants? All the green leaves have green colored pigment in them called chlorophyll. C-H-L-O-R-O-P-H-Y-L-L Chlorophyll Okay, it looks something like this. Leaves use this chlorophyll together with air, sunlight, water and nutrients from the soil to prepare their own food. The process by which plants make their food is called photosynthesis. P-H-O-T-O-S-Y-N-T-H-E-S-I-S The plants breathe in carbon dioxide and they breathe out oxygen through small pores present in the leaves called stomata. You can imagine stomata nose of plants. This entire process of breathing takes place during photosynthesis. That is, they release oxygen during the process of photosynthesis, which we human, humans inhale. We humans take a breathing oxygen and we release carbon dioxide. This is one of the main use of plants because they produce oxygen. Leaves are also known as kitchens or the food factories of plants. Plants which are not green in color such as mushrooms do not make their own food. So let us summarize what we learned so far. We learned that green leaves have green color pigment in them called chlorophyll. Also we learned that the plants prepare their food. The process is called photosynthesis. Also we learned that the there are small pores present in the leaves which help in breathing that is called stomata. Now let us look at the differences. Leaves are of different sizes. The banana leaf, are, leaves are very big in size but the leaves of tulsi, coriander, mint, tamarind and drumstick are smaller in size. Also, the leaves vary in color. Most of the leaves which we say, see around us are green in color. But some plants like croton, birch and maple have colorful leaves. You might have seen croton. That's a common show plant we see around us. Leaves vary in their texture as well. Lotus leaf has oily surface. Mint leaves are little rough. But the hibiscus leaves are soft. Leaves have varied uses. 
leaves are food for some animals such as cow, goat, sheep, etc. We eat some leaves as food as well. So, spinach, lettuce, cabbage, etc. Some of the leaves like coriander, mint, bay, and curry leaves add flavor to food. They give a very good smell. Tea leaf is a popular beverage. Beverage is something which, which we drink. Tea, coffee. The, uh, the leaves of tea plant is dried and we use as tea. Tulsi and neem leaves have medicinal property. Palm leaves are used to make thatched roofs of houses. We might, you might have seen in villages. Leaves are also used for decoration during festivals. Leaves of banana and palm are used as plates in southern which is also eco-friendly. Mehendi leaves are used to make beautiful designs on palms and fields during festivals, special occasions, etc. Means, uh, leaves of neem and eucalyptus are good at pest control. These two are uh, used as organic pesticides. Now let us summarize the uses of leaves and their examples. The leaves used as food, spinach, lettuce and cabbage that add flavor to food coriander, mint, bay and curry leaves. The leaf which is a popular beverage is tea leaves. The leaves which has medicinal property are neem and tulsi leaves. The leaves which are used for making thatched roofs are coconut palm leaves. The leaves which are used for decoration is mango leaves. The leaves which are used to make plates, banana and palm leaves. The leaf which is used for making designs on palms and feet is mainly leaves. The leaves which are good at pest control are neem and eucalyptus leaves. The last topic of the chapter is shedding of leaves. We know that the plants shed their leaves mostly during the autumn season. We shouldn't burn the, the fallen leaves. Instead, we have to collect them in a pit. The pit, the fallen leaves, vegetables and the fruit peels are collected to produce manure is called a compost pit. These, after a weeks of decay, will form manure. When used with the soil, helps in growing healthy plants that is it adds nutri more nutrition to the soil in which in turn will help us in growing very healthy plants the plants and the vegetables what we get from these plants also will be healthy i have listed few of the words that you need to focus on to master this chapter. I have categorized it as tough, medium and simple words. Please focus on the spellings of these words and practice very well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share my channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.